This is my dressing up box, Piers and Susanna. The prop store is selling their wares. They're expecting to raise some £1.5 million from the auction in a couple of weeks' time. And this is an exclusive preview at the exhibition that opens today. How are they going to raise that sort of money? Well, look at the price tag on these Batman outfits. To your left there, we have for thirty or £40,000. You could do a little bit of role play at home with Batman Begins as Christian Bale. We've got Bane's outfit from Dark Knight Rises. That's twenty to £30,000. And also from the Dark Knight Rises, another Christian Bale number for forty to £60,000. Follow me over here. This will take the edge off your annual salary and your morning commute because for a loose 40 to 60 thousand pounds you could have the original bat pod as well into the heart of the exhibition and look Piers you've shed your human form young man for 90 grand this could be yours scar from alien versus predator but if you want something all the more practical and I've been known to carry this off on more than one occasion this is Jester's outfit from Top Gun celebrating 30 years of said movie of course and Joachim and Russell Crowe's outfit from Gladiator look at the detail on this one yes more minimus than Maximus Russell Crowe it would appear in the flesh. Something a bit more practical for you, Susanna, for your capsule wardrobe. Sarah Connor from the Terminator films, of course. Nice oh. bit of leather schmutter uh, here from Arnold Schwarzenegger. And my personal favourite, the Terminatrix, of course. Notice how she's dropped her dress size just in time for the party season. But the man whose name above the door it is, is Stephen Lane, the CEO of Prop Store. Okay. And this is the man, I'm, I, you're not really a geek, but you're a man off to my own heart. How long have you been collecting this sort of stuff? Uh, over 25 years now. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty passionate about this stuff. So the inner geek. Sure, absolutely. I mean, you've got to be pretty hardcore. You do really, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Okay, this is very special here, this particular item. Notice the serrated edge. If that didn't give it away, that certainly would. This is from Jaws, clearly. Absolutely. Steven Spielberg's clapperboard from Jaws. And this has actually originated with a cameraman, tracked down by a collector in Spain, and then we persuaded him to consign it into the auction for us. And how much would this sort of thing go for? Thirty to forty thousand pounds, and we've got a lot of interest in it as well. Already, I think, yeah, I think it's going to be mean, exciting on the day. That's absolutely phenomenal. And with the serrated edge, of course, for thirty or forty thousand pounds, you could probably use it practically in the kitchen as well, Stephen. If you wanted to, once you buy it, it's yours. Once you buy it, it's yours, and you can do what you like with it. A man after my own heart, Stephen. Come on around here, because this is something absolutely after my own heart, and that is Star Wars memorabilia. Notice this: 1979, 22nd of May, from The Empire Strikes Back. Of course, you don't need to be a geek to know that sort of thing. Um, the helmet here, though, talk me through this, buddy. So, well, this this is an original TIE Fighter helmet from Star Wars A New Hope, yep. and then it was subsequently used on Return of the Jedi as well, which is just a, it's a, a lovely piece of design, a fantastic, iconic How item. Much? 50 to 70,000 pounds. Again, a lot of interest in this, especially from America. Somebody flying in, especially to, to bid on that. Speaking of flying in, of course, I wouldn't necessarily fit, and I don't think the price tag would fit either. How much for this little bit of airfix? 60 to 80,000 pounds. 60 to 80,000 pounds. Okay, Piers, you're going to have to dig deep into your pocket for my little secret Santa present this year. This exhibition opens today and the auction is in a couple of weeks' time. Dig deep, young man, dig deep. Have they got, have they got Maverick's leather jacket oh. from Top Gun? I wouldn't mind buying that, wearing that in the office. Maverick's, Maverick's uh, leather jacket from Top Gun, is that something you've got hidden in your closet? It's not, I'm afraid, no. We've got Jester's outfit over there in the auction, but I don't have any other Top Gun I don't items. Think, I don't think there's enough. I'm sorry yeah. to piss, there's not enough Jester's outfit for you, young man. Chester was... Chester was all right, but it was all about Maverick. <laughs>